Hello, uh, my name is Miguel and today I would love to show you how to make sliced kingfish callalo without gravy dinner. So you're going to need a small or a medium sized onion, no one small onion, so we're not going to make any gravy. A small stack of scallion, less than a quarter teaspoon of fermented berries, a spring of thyme cooking oil for frying, coconut preferably a scotch bonnet pepper for, for, for spicing, for flavoring and a drip of a tablespoon of white vinegar and color level this is color level I want to share something with y'all guys because you know what I'm upset right now about something Cause I was I was I washed my car yesterday, and it was late. And when I today I decided to put armor all on it and thing, and it was it, you know drove it to a plaza and I was there putting the armor all on it. And after putting on finish putting the armor all on it, and I started to wipe the surface of the car again, I noticed somebody wrote wrote the word F U C K on a cert on my bonnet. Now tell me now, people, who would do that? Right now, I don't think I'm a nobody. I don't have no enemy. I have a Toyota Levin. It's just a, it's an old car. It's a 1997 car, but it Chris, it look good. So I just don't understand. So my y'all Jamaican, if you can explain it to me, tell me some, because right now I'm totally confused. Lately, since the last couple of years in this country, I've been having good experience with people. People don't talk. People are serious and thing. I know it's hard and like inflation and all of that, but still, that don't give a reason for people to be mean to each other. I'm upset. I agree. I'm upset, but I got over it. I'm not upset anymore because I don't know who did it and I can't know who did it. So it doesn't really make any sense. When I first saw it, I was like, "Who would do that?" I was upset, but after thinking and thinking, I decided not to be upset because it wouldn't make any sense. So I'm not really upset. I'm just, I'm just talking about it for a while. And that's it. After tomorrow, I won't even mention it again. And I'll, I'll just forget about it. And call it a loss. But it's just, it's just surprising though. It's really surprising to me. And it kind of hurt me too. Not hurt in a good way because I'm not feeling hurt. I'm just disappointed. In my culture, I am. I feel I'm a person that gives back to this society whenever I can. I really do, and I kind of have a, a little passion in my heart for Jamaica. I don't know where I get it from, but it's there. And right now, as I'm talking, tears when I come to my eye. I'm about to stop it because I'm upset. This country made me cry for no reason a lot. Not a lot, but occasionally. And that 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 is it. When you do that, that's kind of that's a depressed. When you're depressed, people do stuff like that. I'm not depressed still, but I'm just saying it made me sad for no reason at times. For no reason. All right. So I slice this, peel it, and slice it. I'm just gonna use this one bag. Because I can't, you know what? Somebody explain this to me too. I'm a born Jamaican and I live in this country. I'm nothing else but a Jamaican. And I cannot relate. I cannot relate. Personally, I cannot relate. So I don't know what's going to happen to a person like me. I can't relate to my culture. I can't relate to my people. From ever since, even when I was young. You know, sometimes women can be different that's how this culture is it's okay with women because i understand women i understand women women are like that for a reason i love them and i understand them but this culture boy all right prepare it i'm just using this one bag to put all my seasoning in i'm so upset first let me apologize if i sound upset but i'm doing this intentionally because i want to show everything if I'm showing you, you guys this, I'm showing you our temperament, I'm showing you our sense of humor, 
I'm showing you, I'm telling you whenever I can about our culture. So like all this happened, it's a perfect time for me to tell you about it. Alright, this is kingfish. This is a lovely fish. It's nice. It's, um, a lady came on the, on, the, on the channel and she was telling me about white meat, brown meat. But this is dark meat. And she was saying her, she and her, her little girl don't like white meat, but white fish meat. But she like dark meat, like brown meat. And she told me about salmon and um, something else. But this is another. If, she's watch, if you're watching right now, you know who you are. This is uh, another fish that you can try. It's nice. It's lovely. It's called kingfish. So what I like to do is just clean out this part because it tends to be sour. All you know what let me explain something to you guys a lot of returning residents I don't care I'm gonna say it because you know what with this culture too we like to um, and I don't like it government do it a lot we cover up stuff like we don't like to show the bad behavior and so forth and we like to show only the good stuff for, because of tourism or whatever but I don't believe in that I'm gonna talk everything I was going to say something, but I forgot. But I still remember. Alright. So take a little white vinegar. And just sprinkle on it. Usually they clean it already. And just rinse these off. And put in a bag. remember what I was gonna say um, this too a lot of times returning residents come back to this country see the ones them that been away for a very very long time very 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 long time and they come back to this country and within less than a year they got robbed killed various different things happened to them my mom is a returning resident she's doing okay you know why she's doing okay because she is a typical Jamaican that love the culture and she can relate to everything so when she come back to this country, she just fit in like everybody else. Let's take some salt and add to this. This is our pepper. Let's throw some of the white vinegar on this. to let it marinate. So allow this. Allow it to marinate. Well, well that's the end of that. If anybody know me, if you notice what I preach, and I'm gonna practice the same thing. I ask you guys to be humble and I need to be humble right now myself. So that's the end of that. I'm finished talking. I just wanted to share it. And I'm not upset anymore. It's a color of big sir. Look at the stem of this. stems off. I'm not going to use this. Not too big. I've never seen a color stem this big. You can tell so they use um, fertilizer. Because the time is dry right now. So this must be fertilizer. Farmers know to use natural fertilizer, like chicken, 
chicken droppings. That's a good fertilizer, you know. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up like that. Just gonna get on it and clean it. Clean them. Make sure the leaves, look, watch the leaf, look if any worm in between and so forth. This is big so it's more work. I have to go through each of these and strip them. What I'm doing, I'm stripping the skin off, see? Because it grows outside and it's dirty. Traditionally, that's what people do. If there's any seed, remove that. You guys know in America, a person can't just go and sit on somebody's car. This is, the, uh, you know what? I don't like it, but over time, I learned to accept it. Weird, you know? I don't like it, but I learned to accept it. Because whenever I park my car somewhere, and you come back here, you always see about 10 butts sitting on your car. And if you ever dare get upset. You are going so far, it's just a car. And you are worship materialistic stuff. Alright, so I pour some water. Yes. You know what? You can use white vinegar too, you know. If you don't want salt. Yes. Where did I buy this? Oh, I bought this in the market down there. It's not in the supermarket, so you're gonna see how dirty this is. Some rasta men use the seed you know, and put it in the meal. Any seed, once it's edible, is good for you. you know. it's, it's good for cancer. Any seed fight cancer. Once it's edible. I don't want it to wash properly, so... Look at that. Wood. Imagine if you didn't wash it. Alright, so let's rinse this out. Let's rinse. Now we're going to shred. You can just do this. I'm show you the raw, the raw way. Just grab it. This is when you're in a hurry and you're cooking for yourself. You can't bother with it. With color though, you don't have to cut it. You don't have to cut it neat. Alright. That's the end of that. So we won't put this aside for later. It's our color low. Just take out a couple of the onions and put it in this. Not that much good. Alright. Pour a little oil. How about the 
tablespoon. Turn the stove on. Put the stove's gauge on low. and quarter cup. It's a little bit of salt. I'll just cover it properly and allow it to fill. Now some of you may be saying oh, the pot was too small but I knew that it would shrink so this is after three minutes. Put the stove on low, like almost half low. Okay, this is after ten minutes. Oops. Stir it like all right. Just keep it covered. And keep it on low. You see, if you keep it on very low, you know you'll always be safe. It won't burn or dry out. At least now you can put it on very very low. Like when you cook halfway. This is 15 minutes in. 15 minutes. That's good enough. You don't want it overcooking. From this, this is tender. They cook. And they can turn it off. That took 15 minutes to cook on low flame. Put a pot for frying with the stove's gauge on very, very high. And just allow it to get hot. Just allow the pot to get hot. Or the cooking pan to get hot. Hot. After three minutes, you see the smoke. I don't know if you can see, but it's smoking. You see, I'm not going to flour the fish. Because I believe when you flour a fish, you have to cook it longer for it to cook properly. I like cooking a fish without flouring it. So in order to do that, you have to hot the pot really good. Add oil. After f four minutes, add oil. And about half cup, just for frying. A ginger, but we can't find it. Have a garlic, garlic. Piece of ginger.
Uh, when you see me do that, just know I put the fish in and I run, I back away, so it was flat. You gotta do that. Just allow it to fry on one side. Don't move it. Just allow it. After four minutes, it's kind of leave the fork and just kind of. This one is still sticking, so if it's still sticking, just allow it to fry. and the time stick because we're going to fry this up after two minutes because it's not going to fry that long on the other side just kind of see when you eat a frying getting less like it's, it's, it's the simmering if you hear that get lesser and less that's a sign to say it's cooked. Like it's slowed down. It's like it's really going fast now. You want it slow down. You can leave the ginger. So it all depends on the slice. I'll take the slices and so forth, but this is going to take about 10 minutes. Frying is getting less. Just like I said, the ten minutes. All right, so that's it. Just remove these.
Alright, I'm not gonna make a gravy, I'm just frying these. It's like onion rings, but it's not really onion rings. It's just fried onions. It's like one minute trying now. So after two minutes of stir fry it, you can remove this, remove the ginger. Alright, that's good enough. Turn this off and remove these. Use a spoon like this and remove them. fish fried and accompaniment with boiled green banana This is just a dinner idea. And this now, I just use this to sprinkle on top. Ah, for this not good. <coughs> I don't like this. I'm not using that. Alright. I'm so hungry. See, this is a no gravy meal. You just eat it with a color. Why I'm sharing this with you? Sorry. Why I'm sharing this with you because I did it before and it was it was a good eat. I enjoyed it. This fish, nice fish. Pure nice. This avocado tastes good. So much money I paid for it. See, I peel off the skin when I eat. Hope the pear good enough. Hope this avocado is good. Most of it is. Oh 
I eat a lot. See, this is better. This avocado tastes good. <laughs> 